Good evening. We're here at this memorial service for Teresa George. Everybody calls her Darlene. I don't know how that is. But uh, I guess her nickname's Teresa. I'm going to open up a word of prayer for all of us as we get in and begin this memorial service. And as I turn the mic over to my mom, I'm going to put our hearts in silence as we think about Teresa's in our heart. Teresa is in our hearts. Her spirit is in our souls. Dear Heavenly Gracious Father, we come to you with mourning and sadness on our hearts. God, we give you the give you our our sorrows and our sadness to you, Lord, because we lost a very close friend, a mother, a grandmother, and a wife, and a sister. And those of us that have been mourning about this are in shock. We can't believe she's gone, Lord. We, we know that she's not suffering anymore, and we know that she's in a much better place where there's no he, no, no more, no more suffering and no more crying and no, no more pain. She's with you, Jesus. And we all had to get together and just hand her over to you. But. God, we need you to comfort us in this moment of mourning. Comfort each and every one of us in this room. We just give our hearts to you with open arms, open souls, open hearts, and open minds. I pray for each and every one in this room as we have this memorial service and remember the good memories that she shared the smiles and the laughter as we celebrate her life. And just remember all the good times. But we thank you for her life. She, had, she gave us lots of good memories. There's not a bad thing about her. It was all good. She was a great mother, a great grandmother. And she was a good wife to Charlie. And she brought many smiles to each and every one of us. And God, thank you for her. Thank you for her soul. And thank you for her, her funny jokes and her silly, silly, uh, just uh, way she was, Lord. It just brings us laugh, laugh. Helps me remember her in a bright her way and not no no more pain. Thank you for everything, Jesus, and warm in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> Me and Teresa, we go way back, like about 10 years at the most. I think I got to know her like back in 2007. <coughs> Maybe a couple of years slipped by, but then we found each other again. But me and her and Molly and Brian, we used to sit around the table and she loved to sing. I mean, she'd do her best. <laughs> but I used to... Um, have her get up and sing to Charlie. <laughs> I told you so by Carrie Underwood. <laughs> and she'd make everybody laugh. But one day she was singing it and I like howled. <laughs> but she loved to listen to um, Alan Jackson, a lot of his Christian music. 
But the one of one of her most favorite songs that she loved the most was the old Holy Cross. Cross. And she always loved to listen to me sing. So I told Charlie that I wanted to share this song with you guys in memory of her. So it's the old rugged cross. <clears throat> On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Oh, the old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to God Calvary. So I cherish cross till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown to the cross I will ever be true it shame and reproach gladly bear then he'll call me someday to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share so I cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. I'm Eddie George. I'm Charles's uh, youngest brother. We're from California. Uh, Darlene's always been not just a sister-in-law to me, but she's been more of a sister to me. I remember the day her and Charlie got married, brought her into our family. I mean, she was the best that ever happened to our family. And I just, I always never forget the day we used to live in a, in a field. Charles had a house across the field from us, we was on the other side, and we had a trailway 
always going from one side of the field to the other. And Darlene used to come over, Charles used to work security over at Fort Rucker Airfields. So she would either come out of the house, spend a night with us, or I'd go out and spend a night with them because she was, <laughs> she was always scared to stay home alone when Molly was a little baby. And uh, I'll never forget the night. I tell Molly this story all the time. There was one night she came out and she was eating supper with us and it got dark. It was about eight o'clock at night and she was ready to go home and she was supposed to call Charles on his break. And we lived out in the boonies. I mean, so far out you had to pipe sunshine to get to us. And uh, I remember the night she walked out in the back porch and she was walking across the field. We had a little trailway going back and forth through each other's houses and it was dark, real woody and everything. Deer always come out and all of a sudden she got about halfway down the trail. And I'll never forget, and she started screaming. She heard a snorting real bad. And it was a buck came out. Oh. And let me tell you, I've never seen my sister run like she did that night. She first froze there for a minute and just started screaming, Ed, Ed, you know, and I look out the door and there she was. She was taking off down the trail like a chicken with his head cut off. And Molly was right behind her screaming, I don't know who was going to run faster. But it, it was a sight I, I, I still can't get out of my mind. And Darlene is just, she's always made me smile. I mean, she's always made me laugh. Anytime I was down, she always lifted me up. All I gotta say, darling, I love you and I miss you. I wish I could be here for you now. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna play a song that my mom had what, for her ringtone for me. It's called From the Ground Up.
that was my song that I had from my mom's ringtone. I wait every day to hear it come on, but it never rings. But my mom, we all had loving memories together. I remember my friends. She'd always say, there's my youngins. <laughs> they always, she always loved my, her family. She was one joyful person to be around. Boy, I wish she could see, I know she's looking down right now at us and seeing all us crying and everything. And she's trying to wipe her tears. She's trying to be there for all of us. But I can feel her presence. And I know she's here with us right now. And she's holding each and every one that came here. She's thanking you guys for being here for her. And, and uh, being there for Ed, me and my dad at this time of need. And my uncle, Ed, who flew clear to out California to be with his sister and my, his family. And I want to thank each and every one that came to support my mom at this time of need. I know she's suffered seven years. Um, she's had very many illness, and I know she's not hurting no more. And I remember all my fun memories I had my mom. But the Hank Williams that was sung on the platform out there was a, the last thing me and mom ever listened to at the end uh, before she passed away and me and mom just mom sat in the passenger seat and I'm driving down the road and she just we just turn it on and just start listening to Hank Williams the whole way each time when I was with her she goes let's listen to Hank Williams <laughs> and I know mom's not even suffering anymore I know she's they did a wonderful job on her cremation and the flowers, I really thank everyone that brought them, even though they're probably not here, but um, I like to thank the funeral directors for a wonderful viewing that they did for her. And Daddy, we'll get through this. We're gonna get through this, Dad. We got each other, and we got Uncle Ed to support us too. And I just wanna thank everyone, and Mom, I love you. And so does Daddy and everyone in this room right here that's with us, even though I don't know half of you. <laughs> but I know Mom's, I can feel Mom and feel her right through me. And I know she's right here. And I know Dad and Uncle Ed and everyone else can probably feel her presence. And like I said, I just want to say thanks for everything. And thanks for the funeral directors that put came together and pulled us together and they did an excellent job. Even though mom's happy right now. And I just want to thank you guys. Anybody else want to add anything? I'm sure Charlie appreciates the tribute here tonight. I could do a tribute. I haven't really done anything. Okay, well, put Brian back on it. You can stay down. You know, <laughs> Teresa, I, I keep calling her Teresa. What's her real name? Darling. Darling, Teresa. Well, her real name is Teresa Darling George. So I'm going to call her Teresa. <laughs> well, you know, <coughs> me and Mom, we have a lot of good memories with her, too. I do, too. And you know what? When I was down, she lifted me up. She's always been there for us. You all of them. To the hardest times. And I thank you all for it. Supporting us. We're here for you now. Molly. Charlie. Yeah, we love you guys. I tell you, as I sit here, I just can't believe that, was it Sunday? It was Sunday. 
was going to be the last time I'd see her alive. I'm going to miss, miss her. That's for sure. I'm going to miss her so much. It's very hard to like sit here and deal with someone that you love so much. But I just have to remember the good times and celebrate the memories. That's what's most important. And, and I know she's listening. I can feel her here too. I just want to remember the memories and celebrate her life. I don't want to, I don't want to be bitter. I want to like, I want to laugh. I want to be happy. And I think that she wants us to celebrate her life and enjoy every moment that we had with her. I don't think she wants us to mourn. I think she wants us to be la have laughter and and smile and, and get along and, and just celebrate her. Celebrate every memory that we had with her. And that's what I want to do when I leave here. And you know, Molly, you know, Charlie, you all got us. You got everyone here. And I thank you for everything. And thank you for the memories, Teresa. You know, you, you were you were awesome to us. You're an awesome mother, wife. You were a very good sister. You you and my mom were just like good sisters. Very close. And I thank you for those memories. For the times we got to know you. And it was a blessing. A blessing. Since I'm like a big brother to you, I'm always going to be your big brother, Molly. Yeah, that's me, big country. Don't ever forget it. So, anybody else wants to chat? Anybody wants the microphone, they can say something. I don't know what to say. I unfortunately came around a little late. Never got to really meet her. I never even, I never even met her. Not once. But from what I've been hearing from everyone here, it's like she was an angel here on earth. Okay. She seemed like she was. I yeah. always made everyone as happy as I could. Job. Thank you. Wish I could have met her. <coughs> Sounds like someone I would have got to love. Would have got to care for. And I know she's looking down on us. I know she's an angel up there. Looking down on every one of us today. And she'll continue to do it every single day. Until our times. Until our times of passings. And, and I wish for all of us that we can all take from our givens. <coughs> and learn from them all. Learn that she was good. And that she had loved everyone. And made everyone happy. That's all I know how to say. Okay, well, if, if anybody wants to talk on the mic or just stand up and say anything, go ahead. I'll, I'll put Hank Williams back on in the background and uh, we'll listen to him again. Uh.